Southern Show, starring Ann Southern. And Katie! waiting in your office. She just checked in. Oh, a friend of mine? A uh, Mrs. Ricardo. Lucy Ricardo? Well, what is she doing here? Jamie! Oh, Jamie! I can't believe it. The last time I saw you, you were going to call me for lunch. Oh, I've been meaning to call you for five years. I, I know, just... I know. The minute anyone says, let's have lunch one day, I know I've lost a friend. Well, you haven't lost me. Ah, oh, duh. <laughs> You've come up in the world. Well, there was no place else to go. <laughs> sit down, Lucy, sit down. Now, let me see. When was the last time I saw you? Will you ever forget that night? Say, I hear Edna Phillips has two kids and a beagle. No kidding. <laughs> Beautiful beagle. <laughs> well, what about you, Lucy? I want to know all about you. How is Ricky? Uh... <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I found this note on my pillow. Oh, my dear Lucy, had to go skin diving with Charlie Snyder. We'll be home around nine. Next weekend, we go for sure. Oh, sure. For ten weeks, we've been trying to get away. Oh, and that's why you checked into the hotel. Yes. <laughs> when I found this note this morning, I said to myself, Lucille, and I know I'm serious when I call myself Lucille. <laughs> I said, Lucille, you are just going to have to teach Ricky a lesson. So I just packed my little bag and I checked into your hotel. But I suppose your marriage is beautiful and you don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm not married. You're not married. Oh, you're divorced. <laughs> oh, I've never been married. But, Katie, you, you've got to get married. Marriage is a wonderful thing. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, well, what about that little note on your pillow? Oh, well, Ricky and I were just having a little lover's quarrel. It was nothing serious. Not serious. Just two minutes ago, you were calling yourself Lucille. <laughs> well, I like the name. <laughs> well, I am not going to call myself Kathleen. Well, of course, if you want to go through life having people point at you and say, there goes Katie O'Connor, the spinster. <laughs> You are, you know, legally and biologically. Lucy, legally and biologically, I am also a biped. What? A biped. What's that? A two-legged animal. Oh. And people don't point at me and say, there goes Katie O'Connor, the biped. Oh, good morning, Mr. Debris. Good morning, Katie. You have to initial this rider on Mr. Benson's lease. Oh, thank you. Who is that? Mr. Devery, my boss. He seems very nice. Oh, he is, most of the time. And how do you get along with Mrs. Devery? There isn't any Mrs. Devery. He's a bachelor. He's a bachelor, and you're a spinster, and you're both bipeds? <laughs> Mr. Devery and I are just business associates. We work together. That is all. It doesn't have to be all, <laughs> but it is all. Admit he's stunning. All right, he's stunning. Now, honey, why don't you go on upstairs? I've got a lot of work. All to right, do. all right, I'll go. But one of these days, some woman is going to walk in here and snatch up your Mr. Devery, and you're going to be the sorriest girl alive. Bye, Lucy. <laughs> Bye, Ted. <laughs> Give me Miss O'Connor, the assistant manager, please. Miss O'Connor speaking. Oh, they must have given me the wrong extension. I'm calling Pussycat. Who? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean Mr. Devery. Mr. Devery? Pussycat. Oh, well, we have a Mr. James Devery here. There's no one by the name of Pussycat. Oh, that's what I call Mr. Devery. <laughs> May I speak to him, please? Just tell him Cookie is calling. Cookie? Not kooky. Cookie. <laughs> Mr. Debbie. 
country. There's someone on my phone named Cookie. Well, bully for you. No, I mean it. She asked for you and she called you Pussycat. Well, is my name Pussycat? I don't know what your friends call you. No one calls me Pussycat, and I have no friend named Cookie. Then you don't want to speak to her? Certainly not. Tell her she must have the wrong party. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear anyone come in. Can I help you? Uh, I'm Lucy Ricardo. I'm a guest here in the hotel. I'm in suite 341. Oh, well, 341 is one of our best suites. I hope everything's satisfactory. No, it isn't. It's lonely up there. I'm terribly lonely in 341. Oh. oh well, I hardly know what to say. I mean, I, I could move you to 926. But I'm afraid your problem would follow you. Uh, what do you suggest? Well, what about a pet? Uh, I know, something you could talk to. What about a nice dog? No. Or a cat. A cat? Yes, a pussy cat. That's a wonderful idea. What'll we name it? We? We? Not we. You. It's your cat. You're the one who's lonely. How do you like Tom? Tom who? Tom Cat. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, what if it's a girl? I kind of like something affectionate, like uh, Cupcake or Cookie. Oh, no, not that. I don't like that name. What name? Cookie. I don't hear very well. Cookie. You mustn't waste any time. Get right down to the pet store and get yourself a cat. I, I know what I'll do. I'll name it after you. Promise you'll drop by this evening and say hello to... What is your name? Uh, Devery. Promise you'll drop by this evening and say hello to Devery? Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh, please. Uh, all right, we'll see. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'll be counting the moments until tonight. I deny everything. Well, I can't imagine what got into you, Lucy Ricardo. You were always so respectable, so refined. You were such a nice girl. Yeah, remember? <laughs> Carrying on with Mr. Devery like a... Aha! Uh -huh. You're jealous, aren't you? I am not jealous. Yes, you are. Because he's a very attractive man and you can't stand the thought of another woman getting him. Admit it. Lucille, I would like you to pack and go home. And if you don't want to go home, go to the plaza or the pier and just upset their lives. You mean I'm never to see Mr. Devery again? Never. But you can't keep us apart. We were meant for each other. But what about Ricky? Ricky who? <laughs> Ricky, your husband. Oh. Well, I guess I was just meant for a lot of people. Well, one at a time, please. <laughs> of course, the big laugh is the guy you've fallen for. Bloodless Debris. You might as well have made a play for a stuffed pimento. Well, my motto is, if you find them bloodless, give them a transfusion. All I can say is... Let's have lunch one day, Madame Duberry. Katie, will you order a dozen roses for me, please? Oh, for you? Uh, well, from me. Uh, send them to 341 and enclose this card. 341? <laughs> 341? Well, that's the Ricardo suite, isn't it? Yes, but... What else would be nice? Uh, candy. Yes, send some candy to me. Candy? Yes, candy and a dozen roses and... Uh, oh, yes, a magnum of champagne. May I ask just why you are sending this to Lucy Ricardo? No, you may not. But you said you didn't even know anybody. You said you never even heard of Katie, something. don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> Dearest Cookie, just to let you know that I'm thinking of you every minute, your own beloved pussycat. <laughs> Room service. Pussycat. <laughs> Hello, this is Miss O'Connor. Would you send to room 341 one rose, not too fresh, a few pieces of candy, and uh, a split of champagne? Flat. <laughs> Dearest Cookie, 
Cookie, just to let you know I am thinking of you every minute. Your own beloved pussy cat. <laughs> Sit down, my dear. Oh, no, that's all right. I'm not tired. What was it you wanted to see me about? I've been thinking about your sweet. Your lonely sweet. My lonely sweet? Oh, that. Oh, well, that's not lonely anymore. Everything's just fine. I haven't had a lonely moment since I left here. Uh, it, it's just jammed with people all the time. Really? Yeah, there's a, there's a big mob up there right now. They're eating all the candy and smelling the rose and splitting that split. Sometimes you can be lonely in a crowd. Oh, not me, not me. No, sir, I'm the belle of the ball, the life of the party. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta go now. I, uh, you see, I, I invited a whole convention up there, and I better be there when they convene. All the conventions in the world won't end your loneliness. Well, I, uh, I, uh, I I'm getting that, that pussycat, like I said. You're getting what? A pussycat. A pussycat. <laughs> You'd come away with me. To Tahiti, palm trees, coconuts, and us. Well, I'm not available for any extensive traveling. Perhaps I forgot to mention to you that I'm married to a very jealous Latin. I want you to have dinner with me tonight. I can't, but let's have lunch someday. Dinner tonight? Oh, all right, fine, love it, sure. I uh, Pick me up in half an hour. Charming. I'll pick you up in half an hour. You bet. <laughs> Give me the desk, please. Hurry. Uh, hello, th th this is Mrs. Ricardo in 341. Would you have my bill ready? I'm leaving immediately. Thank you. Oh, uh, Katie, I haven't got time to talk to you now. I'm in a terrible hurry. I'll bet you are. What are you doing? I am yanking the phone out of the wall. What for? So you can't call for help. That's what's for. Help? Now. Settle down, Lucy. You are not leaving this room. I'm not only leaving this room, I'm leaving the hotel. I am not going to let you ruin your marriage or your life. You are not running off with Mr. Devery. I'll say I'm not. I'm going home. Oh, Lucy, I know all about your little plan. What little plan? To run off with Mr. Devery. That's his little plan, not mine. I'm going home to Ricky. Oh, sure you are. <laughs> Before you leave, uh, why don't we have a drink together to toast your newfound happiness? I haven't got time, and Mr. Devereux will be up here in a few minutes. Aha! You are running off with him. I am not. I don't want to see him. That's why I'm rushing off. Oh. Well, I believe every word you say, Lucille, so let's have that drink for old time's sake. I haven't got time, and I haven't got anything to drink. Yes, you have. You have that lovely little split of champagne Mr. Devery sent you. <laughs> If you don't mind, we're short of towels. <laughs> Will you let me go? Yes. Here's to you. To your new found happiness. Bottoms up. <laughs> Flat. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? To my new found happiness. Remember, we just drank to it. Well, put your bag down, Lucy. You're not going anywhere. The door is locked. I have the key. The phones are out. And you just drank a handful of sleeping tablets. Sleeping tablets? Mm-hmm. In two minutes, you'll be sound asleep. And you're going to stay that way until I can get Ricky to take you home. 
sleeping tablets. Uh-huh. They're a new brand called Rockabye. You didn't. I did. So you just relax, and I'll turn down your bed, and I'll let you know just as soon as Ricky gets here. up in here. We'll need nourishment, and this is all I have, so have some champagne. It'll give you strength. <laughs> you, see, you think I was born yesterday? Don't you think I know that you put all the rest of the pills in that glass? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't get me to touch that wine. <laughs> I didn't put any pills in this wine. Mm, that's enough talking. Go to sleep. <laughs> Never. Rock by you, see on the tree top. When the bow bears are clean, we'll rock. Rock by Katie on the tree top. When the bow breaks, are you gonna drop? <laughs> the candy. <laughs> you put the pills in the candy. <laughs> such a thing. I was only trying to save you from yourself. First, I gotta save myself from you. <laughs> Katie, I was not running off with Mr. Devery. I only did what I did because I wanted him to look more romantic. <gasps> oh, you. I got caught in my own trap. Oh, Lucy, you mean you were really going home to Ricky? Yes. Oh, honey, will you ever forgive me? Well, we've got to get out of here right away. Come on. Oh, oh. what's the matter? Oh, steady, girl. Steady now. We got to get out of here. You think I'll make it all right? Come on. Oh, sure. sure. Come on. We got to get out of here. Go on, sure. You got to get me out of here. I'll get rid of it. It's locked. I know it's locked. You locked it. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, give me the key. I haven't got the key. You've got it. Well, that's right. I Go on. Don't say that. We got to get out of here. Jump up and down. Oh, I can't. I can't even stand up. Jump up and down. I heard something. I think it's the key. Oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Oh. Oh, good girl. Get it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it, girl. War? No, hell. <laughs> Are we there yet? Just a few more miles. Let's call a cab. Good idea. <laughs> I'm tired. Just keep walking. I'm so tired. You just keep walking. Yes, keep walking. <laughs> You're detaining 
us, sir. What's the matter? Have you gone nuts? And you have got... I'm sorry, Mr. Derry. It's been a terrible mistake. I, I was just trying to make Katie jealous. I was never jealous. Hmm. You see, I didn't know you were going to fall in love with me. I didn't fall in love with you, Cookie. I just wanted to show Miss O'Connor that I was not a stuffed pimento. You eavesdrop. I want to tell both of you something. If you go around meddling in other people's lives, you can't expect to come out of the meddling unscathed. The more people that learn to mind their own business, to live and let live, there wouldn't be so much need to... The least you could do is listen when I'm talking to you. Miss O'Connor! Cookie! We hope you're enjoying the first night of Nick at Night's 10th Anniversary Week. Every show a classic from our earliest years. And you'll want to be here tomorrow, too, for another evening of hand-selected, unforgettable favorites, cult classics, and a man who would be president. Tomorrow, on night two of our 10th Anniversary Week celebration. When you see her passing by, just one look and they'll fall in love. The apple of their eye, oh my Katie, Katie, all the fellas call for Katie, cause Katie is the gal they adore.